Mumsy? Wherefore are thou, mother? You evil wretch! Phew. Is this why you're here? To steal Julian? I knew it. Who sent you? Was it Percival? Or did Abigail herself summon you? I'm merely reacquainting myself with Thornhill. I can't believe you kept this old doll all these years. And I can't believe I let you back into this house and my life again. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Welcome back, Mumsy. Tell me, do you feel that? Do you feel yourself getting hotter? Cheryl, what are you doing? I'm making your body temperature rise. Right now, you're at about 112. Oh. 122. 140. How are you doing this? I'm pyrokinetic. But you... You couldn't come back and just be a normal mother, could you? Oh. No. You're still your usual gaslighting, manipulative self, as you'll always be. But things have changed. I have changed. For the longest time, you were the dragon and I was the maiden, locked away in the tower. But now, I'm both, the maiden and the dragon. And you are going to feel my fiery wrath. Please, Cheryl, don't do this. I have something for you. The surprise, or did you forget? It's too late, Mumsy. They're letters from Heather. What do you mean, letters from Heather? You remember Heather, your best friend from junior high? After she moved away, she wrote you almost every day. Of course I remember, Heather. You caught us in my bedroom, called us deviants, and forbade her from ever speaking to me again. Well, she wrote you, and I intercepted those letters, and I kept them all these years. Please, Cheryl, the letters are my peace offering to you. Proof, I hope, that I truly have changed. You must read them. So where are they, Mother? And may Mephistopheles have mercy on your soul if you're lying to me. To anyone who can hear me, this is Tabitha Tate, broadcasting live from Pop's Chocolate Shop, exit 17 off of the Lonely Highway. If you're lost in the fog, look for the pop sign we're open. We have power, food, heat, running water, just look for the light.